Hi, I'm Danny Ecker with your Chicago Business Today Midday Report. Plans to reshape Navy Pier are coming into focus today as the Tourist Sites Governing Board has approved New York landscape architect James Corner to redesign its public spaces. The board gave the thumbs up to Corner's firm out of five proposals at a meeting this morning, tasking his team with the transformation of one of Illinois' biggest tourist attractions. Corner's 17-member team has four representatives from Chicago, including a landscape architectural firm that helped design Millennium Park. His group is known for the design of New York's High Line, a mile and a half long public park that replaced a rundown rail line on Manhattan's west side. A new agreement is keeping Lollapalooza and Grant Park through 2021. The Chicago Park District and Austin, Texas-based concert promoter C3 Presents have reached a deal that will require C3 to start paying millions of dollars in amusement and liquor taxes. And with that, if you want to attend the three-day music festival, you'll be paying a little more. Lollapalooza has become increasingly profitable in recent years, which led to tougher negotiations. A record 270,000 people showed up last summer. No word yet on how much ticket prices will increase, but Chicago Park District officials say keeping the concert in Grant Park will bring an extra $1 billion in economic impact over the course of the deal. Well, as expected, foreclosure activity in the Chicago area soared in February as more underwater properties are surfacing following a $25 billion settlement with big banks. Foreclosures in the seven-county Chicago area jumped 42% year-over-year, according to RealtyTrack. That's way off the national year-over-year -year change, which was down 8%. Illinois was one of 21 states that posted an annual increase in foreclosures. That's the highest number of states to do so since November 2010. And the madness begins on this Ides of March, but more than on the basketball court, it's a headache for company IT departments. Streaming content related to the NCAA men's basketball tournament triggers more than a third of network shutdowns and slowdowns during the games. This is according to a survey of 500 IT professionals by Florida IT staffing firm Modus. 16 of the games are streamed live online today and tomorrow during regular work hours. And for the first time this year, live streaming on mobile devices has been extended to the Android platform. The poll found that nearly 40% of IT professionals in Midwestern states rely on the honor system, simply asking employees not to follow games online. But nationally, two thirds of the surveyed companies said they will take some sort of action to ban streaming non-work related content. And while you're not following games online today, be sure to check out Crane's NCAA business bracket which pairs the schools with their notable Chicago area alumni. And that's what's happening in Chicago business today. Stick with chicagobusiness.com for breaking news throughout the day. Thanks for watching. We'll see you tomorrow.